all the death threats, now you stick your head out, we respond. You have written that you made a personal claim to the police and please do, because you have to show them what it is they have to investigate. And when they investigate, you see exactly what we wanted to do. Going back on the teachings and where we stand for, we teach according to the time and the place and understanding of the totality. Many of you have asked, what is the position with the soul of the man? What is going to change in the coming time? We have to understand the process that our soul is part of the totality of the structure of the universe. We are not unique, we are not separate, we are not any different. We are part of the chain of evolution of the interaction of the field. And in one process or another, we become part of bigger structure, as we evolve. We become part of the structure that itself becomes the creator. When the sun was created from the rays of the fields, of the plasmatic fields, of the galaxy and the universe, it was just fields, it's just a plasma. And it's received, it comes to the point that it gives. And in that giving his fields out, and in the process of the environment which is dictated on it by the galaxy, where it's positioned in, he has created a distance gap, which that distance gap has led to the reduction in the strength of the field, and in that reduction of strength of the fields, in the interaction with the plasma, which has been collected from the fields of the universe, has led to creation of what we call amino acid and life. So, if you consider the soul of the man the same, as the fields of the sun, in becoming radiant, and in its environment allowing it, its field of strength, to be dictated by its environmental fields, then it can lead, the same as the earth, in the solar system, in the creation of an entity, that what we might call planet, and that condition in that planet, in interaction with the fields of itself, leads to creation of the fractions or plasmas, which the collective interaction leads to creation of another cycle of life. This is how you become the creator. This is how every soul in its dimension has the capability to become the source, to become a center, to become a star, to become the creation and the creator of life. This is important for us to understand, and this is absolutely what we have to understand, that the interaction of the souls, of the other entities, of the physical structure, in releasing their soul, in releasing their free energy system plasma, what we call a soul, in the environment of the galaxy, and the solar system, and the universe, part of it, or some of it, or most of it, has led to the creation of the sun. Which means our sun could be, and part of it has to be, out of the soul of the creations of the other creatures. This is the reality, it does not matter how it looks to us. This is the way it is. Where does our soul go, when it's a plasmatic magnetic field? It goes and interacts with the others, and interaction, in billions of years of cycle of life. Part of your soul, or the whole package of your soul, or in certain ways of strength, it leads to creation of another source of life. Another sun, because that's what the soul of the man is. So, in totality, we are forever evolving. 
and how man has to come, and has come to think, that this fraction of few seconds in the cycle of life of the universe, which we call the life of the man, has become so important out of his own ignorance. The sooner the man reaches the understanding, the sooner the man understands that this understanding, it is and it will become, in totality, as one part of creation, as one part of the entity. We have to understand, just one second please, So, in this process, in this totality, we are part of a structure. We are part of understanding. We are part of what I call universalization, not globalization, we become part of the fields of the universe, and in different part of this universe, in the structure of our lives, as the fields of this universe, in one time or another, or sometimes never, because we stay free of conditions of the galaxies in the visible direction, we become part of the invisible part, due to the strength we carry, we become part of the totality of the globe, of the universe. So, the sooner the man understands this, the sooner man understands that his life is on a path of progress, that what he absorbs more, that he creates, and it gives it a chance to become, as on its own, an entity for the existence and life, creation in another cycle, the more man will do to receive from the others. Not by stealing, because by stealing you lose, is by devotion of service. Is what, what we call in English language, by receiving blessing. Which means that others give their soul to you, in the trust that you develop, for a better life in the next cycle, through the field connection, that they are part of that development. It's very much like when you find somebody that you think is going to be a good sportsman, and then you invest time and finance it for it to become the best. We do, and most of the souls in the universe rely on them, that they can be elevated to the point that, at that point, the soul receives enough that on its own can become a star on its own can become a new cycle of the creation. That, at that point, on its field, it reaches the point of maturity of becoming part of the creation and the Creator. This is the ultimate goal of the existence. And the sooner we understand this, the sooner we understand, this is very much like an achievement in being able to produce You've seen how animals fight to be the best that they can mate with a female, the strongest. In the world of knowledge of the man, in the strength of the soul, is for us to be able to shine, that on its own we can stand to be a star, to be the creation, to be the start of a new cycle. Not many achieve this point, not many souls, can gather a mass of so much. This is part of the teaching, which we have to understand. Otherwise, the whole process of teaching become totally meaningless. Why do you go to a space for? Why do we open the universal community to man? Because, 
in the reality, on the other side, here in the population, you get blessed by a few thousand. When you serve in a universal community, in the strength which they carry, and you serve the totality, in receiving collection of the fields of the universe, the soul of the entity elevates to the soul of the Creator, to the level of the soul of the Creator. But not in its strength, which means you become part of the creation, that your life, your cycle, leads to the creation of new life. It's very much, we do our best to become on the top, that we can get the best job. This is the best job available in the universe, for a combination of the fields, which the soul of the man can be part of. I explained this in a very, very tricky way, a couple of times, and nobody understand. We saw the death of Paul, John Paul, and a lot of people cried for him. He didn't carry much. He didn't catch much of the blessing, because we know what was going in the background, was taking too much. We seen, round about the same time of era, and the same conditions, the loss of Priest Diana. We saw how the world grieves for her. We know of her misconducts, in whatever, but he received up to so much praise, so much attention, so much in giving to her soul, that soul elevates to a new dimension. I've said that many times to people around me. Her soul has been elevated. It's, it's unfortunate or fortunate that has happened. But in reality, because so many people grieved and gave from the soul in blessing, whatever she did minor on what she did, was not comparison to what she received. The elevation of the soul at this level creates a new condition for the whole soul itself, that he has to learn to adjust to it. Then it becomes a shining star. But you need millions of humans to simultaneously to give. Many of us have lost parents. After 20 years, 30 years, the blessing is if one of the grandchildren mention a name. If 50 or 100 people turn up for a funeral, for whatever reason. The people who receive this kind of blessing, the elevation of the soul in targeted on them, is so huge that they receive these levels of love and care, or elevation of their soul. So, in so many ways, we have to understand, if we enter universal community, we are dealing with the souls that they are in extension, in much more powerful in mass, of the human race, because of the way they have conducted themselves. So, those humans, who join in the race of the universal community, in time as they serve, the same as what they learned here in a correct conduct, then they can achieve the elevation to the stardom, to become a shining star, to become a collection of fields, where they decide through the soul of their existence, their own existence. Many times we hear, and if you understand the process of the physics, heart beat. The sun has a heartbeat, the earth has a sun heart heartbeat. Where does this come from? It's the same process as the heartbeat of the man. Same process, but internal interaction of the process. And those of you who understand this, if you understand it fully, then you understand those of you who've been looking for a free energy system, to be able to run any amount of fields you like, you find the answer in existence of your heart, through your soul, in the development of the systems that they create that 50 Hertz frequency, that lead to creation of energy as man likes to have in his present material system. So, if you understand the totality,
in its real essence, not only you teach yourself the elevation of your soul, those of you who are materialistic, and you are after what I call a free energy, will receive to create dimension, non-dimensional systems, that through their operation, will create light and energy. So, if you understand the operation of the soul, you understand the operation of the energy. You understand that the teaching right across is exactly the same. As I said, each person takes from this technology according to their intelligence. The operation of the soul, the operation of planet, the operation of power generator is all the same. Exactly the same. Have you ever thought of it? Heartbeat. And the frequency on the wires, if you have not understood it, now it should be very clear. Understanding of the science of the creation is the most joyful thing to do. But if you understand it in totality, if you understand it, in reality, in how and the way it has to be done. If you understand the totality of the concept. The soul of the man, is the creator of the man. If the soul of the man can create such a beautiful system, with such an integral part to it, now, it's the time for the man to understand, that he has underestimated the power of his own soul. And isn't the time for man to start understanding, how he can use this soul, to elevate itself, and to change dimension of physicality, in what he can live in, and what is the desire of the man. Life is not easy, in any dimensions of the creation. Life is a pleasure, in all dimensions of the creation. In the understanding of the totality, one does not need the physicality. But it's good to understand it, because you know, many times I said, I know why I had to go to the to business world and learn things, because then, at this point, I can handle what they've been given. Then, you understand why man goes through these trials, and the knowledge gained, carried by the soul of the man. Because the soul of the man, in its own way, is aware of its destination and destiny. So, he gets trained in this direction, in this dimension, and this planet, that when it's the Creator itself, he it has the memory, what is right and what is wrong, and what has to be put right. Because then it becomes the Creator itself. The process of creation, is the understanding of the interaction of the field. Then, what field leads to what creation, what strength of what combination leads to what, that is the mystery which man has to solve. It's very much, is bunch of equations, depends what you put on it, this is what you want to get out of it. Man has to assess what he wants to take, We see, many of you, are busy with the World War Peace Treaty. What does it bring you? What's the purpose of it? Have you ever stood still? Why am I doing this for? 
you're doing this for one thing. You become part of what you wished and in creating the peace, the condition for peace, you become part of receiving that blessing of those who work and you work with to create that condition of peace. So, in this process, what do you think, what's in it for me? Those who are short-sighted, look at their pockets here. Those who understand most of the totality, they decide through their soul, this is where I want to be. This is the dimension of my soul. And with it, creating the peace which is here, I elevate my soul. I decide to elevate my soul, to be in a position to receive from the pool of the blessings, from what is to come, what is to be shared, and what is for me to be able to serve the next generation. How many of you go to church or to mosque, or you go and work in the old people's home freely, you call it a charity work? Here, there is no charity work. Here, you know, that is the gift in achieving peace. The elevation of the soul of the man. But it has to be unconditional, because if you say, I'll do it, because I know I receive something to have a better soul, the intention, as we say, has spoiled the action. So, it has to be sincere. We have to understand, why we pushed for this peace plan. In negotiation with officials and with the governments, we have raised the level of the understanding that there is more thing than war, there is more points than any other action. There is more to gain through peace. As I speak to more and more people in the world of science, I understand one thing. The man of military are of the same opinion as us, the man of peace. Because so many of them themselves have come to understand, what am I doing here? Spending a lifetime marching, that one day, when they create war, I might carry a gun. The level of sacrifice has become unbearable, because is there a need for a sacrifice? or have we sacrificed everything for the wrong reason up to now, and we've been misguided. Crusaders, people who fight in the name of Jihad, Jews who fight on the name of whatever they like, and then they call themselves people who are serving a nation. Doesn't matter in what shape or form. We have to come to understand, there is one path, and it's only the path of peace. Because, it's not for what we think is here, it's for what we carry in the next level, in the freedom of our soul, from the physicality of body of the man. These points are important to understand, on what are called the eve of the end of the last cycle of death on this planet. A lot of you will understand, after the signing of the Peace Treaty by the members of the Earth Council and Universal Council, a new cycle for humanity starts. It's the wave of the wishes of the man, which elevates the soul of the others. It's not that we sign a piece of paper on the Acts, on the Internet, it's the intention, and the confirmation that I am there to take the responsibility, which receive the soul's energy for those who wish for peace, that in receiving, it can give more. This is how this cycle shall work. This is what has to be understood. The members of the Council, the members of the Universal Car Council, the Earth Council, and the core team, they were well explained last night, in what the new cycle is to bring. 
somebody says, last night was the last supper. In a way it was, in a way we said goodbye to all the animosity, to all the hate, to all the confusion which has born on this planet for millions of years. Because the new members of the Universal Council, the new members of the Earth Council, the members of the core team, now all of them, all 14 members of the core team, all 12, five, six members of the Earth Council, and numerous, numerous numbers of the members of the Universal Council, now collectively, their soul become the satellites of peace, they are the beacons of the peace, and as the man wishes for peace, from now on, he has a point to go to. You remember going to the church, and praying for the Christ, without knowing the man, you're hoping that by praising his soul, he will receive what you think part of you? From now on, when the humanity cries for peace, we have placed and positioned the beacons which receive the energy. This is the purpose of the Universal Council. This is the purpose of setting up the Earth Council. In that, as the more people wish for the peace that they give from their soul, the stronger the fields become, and with it, the more the structure towards Universal Peace. This is very, very, very strange, if none of you have understood up to now. In the collection of the people we set up, we organized, was to elevate the totality of the, what I call, life on this planet, irrespective of color, race, feathered, haired, scaled, or whatever you want to call it. In this process, we elevate the soul of all those who know and understand, and all those who do not know, but are there and suffering through the action of the man. This is the beauty of the way we have set everything up. As I said, we walked man to the peace without the man knowing. And this becomes very, very easy when you are master in your work. When you understand exactly what you are doing, and you can bring about the work of the peace through the work of the man. In a way, I showed you the way. And in a way, it's you who are setting the tone and the direction. This is the beauty of it. Many of you never understood how you walk the path of the peace. But many of you understood one thing. And that was it, that you have become part of the peace work. There is no choice in it. We have no choice. We are not given any opportunity to choose, but we are part of the totality of the choice. Now, all these people who, for example, set up all these peace marches and they wished, and the people who suffer and wish for peace, have found a soul to pray to. Now, they receive it, because now the intention of the people who can bring the change has been set. In the future, the man will come to understand, 2nd August, 3rd August 2017, is a turning point, not only for humanity, but for a total human race, and all the creatures on this planet. It does not matter where you live, because the love of God has no address, it shines upon all the same. And, now that we understood in the teaching, that the love of man, in the wishes of the man, in this creation of the man, has come from all dimensions, from the solar system, from the galaxies, from the universe, from the unicos, and from the Creator. So, within us, we create that cycle, which leads to peace for mankind. And it had to be done the way I've done. There is no other way. There has been so much mess over thousands and millions of years that had to be corrected. 
in so many ways, many people will give all their life service to be a member of the Council. Because with it, they guarantee the survival of peace on this planet and in the universe. The game is very simple. As I said, I'm the Shepherd. I know exactly where to lead my flock. In so many ways, my flock is my knowledge and not the humanity. When I release the knowledge, the knowledge touches the soul of the man, touches the soul of every being who hears the voice of the soul. Now you understand why so such time was taken to go through so much to bring such a position. Today, as we say goodbye to the 1st of August, we write the end to animosity in the race of man on this planet, and to the totality. It will take its time, and in time, when it's done, you say, I was there when the papers were signed. When the human race committed itself to peace. The changes you will see coming from next 24 hours, and how the race of the man will race for peace in the coming time, will bring an end to all the animosities. As I said to powerful men on the table, why don't we spend the money on arms, on helping and building? And you start making sense, because we keep on building arms, and we see nothing but wars, and killing and suffering. Even the men of army are tired of killing. Because in the past, it was the sword in their hand, and it was the strength of them. Now they see with their word, thousands of people lose their children, their fathers and their mothers. And they have to come to understand, they don't want to be part of it. When you explain that to a man of military, it's changed the soul of the man. And he comes to understand that, he was not created to lose from his soul, he was created to elevate his soul. And in understanding it, they changed the course of humanity. As I say, we teach to enlighten. We don't teach to teach to be teachers. Enlightenment is forever. Teaching can be forgotten. And that's what I said in all my work, all the time, I'm here to enlighten. I'm here to teach you the path to understanding the work of your own soul and no more. And then understanding the effect it has, the effect it had that is here to be, and what you can do about it. Because in a physical dimension is you who's responsible for caring, taking care of this soul. You are the external part. You are the protector. You carry the physicality of the body to make sure the soul inside is protected, elevated through your conduct and not through your misconduct. It's an easy time ahead. the time of suffering, and all that man has been through, is over. We don't promise a rose garden. We have already arrived at the garden. Promises has been going on for thousands of years, and the effort of what has been put together by mankind in past few years, and what we have seen, collectively, from the telephone to internet, those who created these are the blessed souls. Now, that has given us the opportunity to elevate, to be able to collect, to become the messengers of peace. In so many ways, the man who invented the telephone, the man who invented the electricity, 
The man who created the internet, the man who created the language that we can communicate and all understand simultaneously across this planet, these are all been the messengers of God, working towards this point, that what they have created and shared knowledge with, now can be used to bring peace about. So is blessed, the soul of Tesla. The dimension of physicality is irrelevant. The understanding of the elevation of the soul, of the man, is more important. Physicality is the end process of transfer of energy, that then it has to transfer itself in a different dimension. Where the soul of the man, for the time being, has no dimension, is free, and the conduct of the physicality gives it the level of freedom to become the creator. In a way, if you are a good student, you become a good teacher. I have taught you all the answers, all the fields. I have taught you everything think you need to know to elevate your souls without stealing from another. In a way, every man has the capability and the power to become to the level of the soul of the Prophet of the past, in serving not only humanity, but the universal community. I explain more and more in next 72 hours, today, tomorrow, and we celebrate the beginning of a new life as a man of peace on Thursday. We invite ourselves to peace. Tomorrow you will see a hectic work of many documents being signed by same people or different people committing themselves to peace. Committing their language and the nations to peace, committing their areas to peace. These papers in the future become the gateway for peace on this planet. This is the beginning of the motion. As I said, tomorrow you will observe, as we sign each member of the Universal Council, to the language they're appointed, or the country which is signed by both members of the councils, or the same council on two signatures, if the members have not come forward, or the country has no representative, will become the beacon of peace. Will become the guideline for the peace, and will be celebrated in time to come by mankind. And as we put, exactly as we said yesterday, as we gave the key in exchange for peace to the world ambassadors around the world four or five years ago, and we announced it, this matter now, once every country signed, the Keshe Foundation team in the backgrounds are set to sign into the forum of the Keshe Foundation. Once you enter, that such a nation has entered itself for peace, the members of that nation get aware of it. Is not sitting in a meeting of the Zoom, it sits across the Internet. This is the beauty of the system we use. In a way, we announce, and it sits in the, what you call the archives of the Internet, and not anymore in the cradle of the Keshe Foundation. The members of the Keshe Foundation in background, would release name one by one, as the signatures come through. It's very much the election, but every man wins, and every man has a chance to win the peace for mankind. And as more and more people understand, in time, they more sign themselves into it. I was in a meeting today, and the officials 
agree that we take the papers, don't push us to sign immediately, let our government do it. Give them time, a few months time. We write it, that we'll take it to the government for signing. We have to understand that the movement of the peace which we have started on the back of the knowledge has and bears fruit of peace. A very good example of it. Those of you who made the coils and you connected it to the electricity, you have a fear of touching the electricity if the wire is naked. Now, those who have tested and made the correct coils or fields, they tell you they take energy from it. What was the fear? Because the technology is so correct and perfect in its balance for serving, creates pleasure, not the fear. We all know what Edison did to the elephant and the electric chair to put fear in mankind in regarding to AC. In what I have created on the nano layer, I've taken that fear away. Because you work in the world of plasma. But you take from it what you need. When I showed the drill, American and the European system in the ambassadors meeting in Rome, 1, 2, 20 and 1, 10, nobody understood that when you hold it, it's the energy strength of the body of the man, and the man takes according what it needs from it. That was a simple way to show. If you could get 220 and 110 from the same plug, and it's the same source, so can be used for the body of the man to elevate the, relieve the body of the man from his physical pain. Or, if it's done the right way, you can elevate the soul of the man, if you understand. And now that we've gone into the dynamic plasma fields and dynamic fields, rays of the plasma, we understand how much easier it has become. You always thought you can put the zinc in, but the zinc then you can give to one person. But, if you can create two dynamic field flows that their strength released in the plasmatic condition is the strength of the zinc, you have changed the man of this planet altogether. So shall be the wishes of the members of the Council. As now, there are many of them. The beauty of it is, I explain tomorrow, the numbers of the councils increases the power of the council. The more member languages we have, the more we go to essence of the root, as we said, the Creator, the solar system and everything else shall be there. We have to understand, to what level we can operate, to what level we can see, to what level we want to accept the reality, because from then on is not our choice, and in that process we have no choice, but to understand that the choice is the choice of our soul, not our physicality anymore. We have to be able to understand that the soul of the man is the freedom of the man from the shackles of physicality. No one up to now, up to this time, has taught so much about the soul in an intriguing way, in a correct way, but understanding of it. The soul of the man, the minute you talk about it, it says, this is this cord, this is that gland. 
since when the soul of the man needs caging. Is free in its essence to create its own manifestation does not need to cage itself in a gland or whatever. The freedom of it comes from its strength and not from its containment. And if this understood by the man, soon you'll understand one reality. Life in the dimension of the creation has many beauties. And that is we all stand to gain from the totality. As I said, today is the last day where the man thought of killing, and today is the last day when destruction was the way. You will understand from tomorrow when the man commits himself to world peace, will start thinking that way. You start reading how nations will change, how nations will go, and you get the feeling there are so many others in a position of power that they have feeling the same as you. They wish the end of American power, because it's been nothing but mispower. There is a lot happening in the background, which I prefer not to be discussed. But, it can be taken up by the soul of the man, to elevate itself. We were hunting to rob, now we serve to receive, to elevate our souls. Service to humanity, service to this planet, service to Universal community will become a disease. That man will regret, why did we do this for centuries on this planet? Why nobody ever stopped us? But as I said, we had to do it this way, because of a misfunctioning in the creation of the entity. It's very much, we have and we've seen, children being born by a small problem, what we call in the birth tunnel, in changing from one cycle of life of liquid to air, such a thing has happened in the creation of this planet. And as we have managed to find remedy to bring the child back to health by giving it the condition that what it missed in that point to switch, now the work of the Universal Council and Earth Council is that switch that opportunity given to the man to switch. And man cannot miss this opportunity. The collective consciousness of the man would not allow it. Tomorrow, when on the forums of the Keshe Foundation, the announcement will go up with a heading, World Peace Treaty, by the heads of the nations, has been signed. People will come and have a look. And people will understand the change has come. We are not looking for praise and attention. We are looking for the change from inside, exactly where all the problems start, which is with the structure of this planet. That through our soul, we correct that misfunctioning. It's not anymore the answers. It's from now on, my soul. What do I have to do, that I can create the condition, that those who don't have, they receive. I become the channel, I become the way to peace. And with it, as I give more to achieve peace, I receive more to be able to create. Today is a goodbye, as I said, the Last Supper. With all the warmongering, with all the killing. And from tomorrow, we sign ourselves to our souls, to one condition, peace on this planet, and the prize into opening of the Universal Community to mankind.
you will see rapid developments in the space technology that the man could not even imagine a year ago. You will see changes and new systems and technologies which convert the life of man beyond imagination. As you thought, the man has changed in past 80 years so much, as they say, you have not seen anything yet. The beauty of the universe well, shall open to the mankind. And then I am free to go home. It's been a harsh ride. It will not be easy, as those who try to divert it will do their best. But, as we say, the stone has set, and the cement has dried. The stone of peace will be there for all of us to enjoy. There is no more fear of, shall we or could we enter? We have already entered. The process for celebration of man into universal community has already started. You will see more interactions, and you will see more understanding of the interactions. Those who look for physical interaction, they'll find out they will reach through their soul, and they feel it within them. There is no need for physicality. When the mankind signs himself to peace tomorrow, and finishes with the conduct of the past through the soul of the man. Signatures are symbolic. The commitment of totality in one day, with all the nations of this planet to one nation, by tomorrow night will be completed. And, on the completion, on the third we celebrate, a welcome man to universal The knowledge flow and technological development for man, starting from Thursday, will be beyond the imagination of every single one of you. In next ten years, the development and the progress will be so much, that one of my fears has been, as I've explained, would they find many mankinds on this planet, as we all take to see the beauty of the universe. There'll be restriction on how many of us can travel, even though we keep commitment of our souls to this planet. As those of us who want to stay needs caring. That is, we make sure when we leave, we leave a peaceful planet that our loved ones are at peace. The life cycle starting from Tuesday or Thursday will be very interesting. It's very much as I was explaining before. You know you are going on a long trip, you make sure all the electricity bill, telephone bill is paid, the wife has enough money in the house, the children have all the clothing, everything is there for Christmas and New Year, because you are away, so you make everything ready and everything is stocked away, that is everything is happy. This will come a disease for man who go to space, for the rest of human being that the human race stayed behind, have everything, that in case, not many of us come back, not to die, but to be attracted by the beauty of the universe, we forget what we had on the Earth, they are all safe and sound. We see nowadays, and we've seen over the past 30-40 years, 1970s was the Arabs, and then became the Japanese, and then became the Russians, and then it became the others, and now it's the time of the Chinese, the all bosses come in. And the nations have become chameleon, just to change the bus, the writing from Arabic to Chinese. Now, because there's too many tourists of the China, because even the little man who didn't have any money, 20 years ago, now has become rich, that he can go and see the beauties of this planet. Go and see Niagara Fall, go and see this and that. And they travel. And now, 
understand, the man needs to pay nothing to go into the space. Free trip. The building costs none, the feeding costs none, the protection and looking after costs none. So, the trip for man of space will be free. And in that process, man lives with the beauty of the soul, to be free from everything else in his travel into space. You will be shocked in what is opening up. As I said many times, I have just opened a peeping hole for you to see. The changes will be so much, that you yearn to go. And when you go, it's so beautiful, that Earth, with all this beauty, it can stay there, it's been there, I go home, when I've seen the universe. And you find out, the life will not be, in a matter of 50 or 100 years. Those who take to space, will live thousands of years. Because, you don't absorb the energies, extras, that become cancers, and tumors, and deformities. Your body takes from the soup of the energy of the universe, as it needs. And, you become at peace. Man will lose his mouth, and man will lose his nose, and man will lose his ear. He feels, he receives, and he lives through the structure of his soul, through his brain. And in that time, even that will not be, because it can change. He chooses the dimension of his physicality, through the choice of the environment of the manifestation. There is a beautiful time ahead. And in so many ways, we had to bring man, to walk away from this deformity, and for man to forget aggression. When you see it, when you listen, when I hear the voice of the soul of mankind, it cries for one thing, and that's for peace. And we have responded. You'll be remembering the day I was there, I watched as it came on the screen the most aggressive killing machine world, with the name of United States, this morning has signed his citizens to world peace. I'm proud to be American. You see the same with the Chinese speaking. I'm proud to be Chinese, to join the world peace community. We write man to his soul, and with it, we carry the physicality of the man as a nation to what? All work has been done today. It's just dusting the last bit. Members of the council were at the table working for six, seven hours last night, to make sure everything goes according to what this position deserves. Writing the peace does not come easy. But now the time is to celebrate, as we say goodbye, to millions of years, of nothing but destruction. Be ready for a huge change. Be ready for world peace to bring change to all of you, in every dimension. The enlightenment from now on, be, be beyond your imagination. As the new knowledge will be delivered to man, in the different direction and positions in the universe, man will realize one thing. How little we knew, and how big, and that we were calling ourselves the King of the Creation. But, as the article said in China, in Accra, humility is the order of the day. The position of human race, from Thursday on, will change. In so many ways, instead of one, you have many, and many have become one. 
and our wishes is peace. And this peace process will grow beyond imagination of the man. It will grow to the point that men, seeing it, feeling it for millions of years, when they go to space, this time they don't become the Jews in Palestine to kill more and block more. This time, because they are inspired by the soul of the generation of the sufferers of this planet for centuries and thousands of years, they become the man of peace. The structure, the order, is already been set. The whole process has taken years to plan, over centuries. Now you understand why we have chosen this path. It's not ours anymore, it's in the hand of human race. It's you who got to understand the responsibility and the order of time is peace. The structure of time is unity and oneness. And in so many ways, by getting to this point, we come to understand one further point. We have to put in structure <coughs> that no such a thing will happen on this planet again. We look for the guardians of those who devote their souls to be the those who serve mankind to make sure the anomaly which has happened in the creation of this planet will never happen to take hold. That they are there to give from their souls to become weekends of peace. You will find the structure will become that many of the human race will give their life totally to make sure what is needed to balance the shortage of the mankind in the race of this planet will never raise his head out. That allows the condition of peace to be evolved. Man will learn, when he sees the joys of peace, that he'll put the structures in position, that nowhere, no time, such a thing will happen again. The armies become the army of souls, who create only the fields that is needed. Because you have to understand, as they give, they receive more, so through it, they elevate themselves to become as part of totality. Life will carry on for hundreds of thousands of years. No man will die in the age of 60 or 100. The joy of serving is so much, that does not end. The falling in love with serving will be so beautiful, that no one to wants to fall out of love. It's not a promise anymore, it's not a land of honey and whatever, we have reached the point. Mankind has, is, and arrived at the gate of change. As a day of the promised day, that the peace will come. Today is the last day, and tomorrow mankind signs himself to peace. Many wishes has created this condition. Many wars has yearned for peace. Now, the soul of the man has reached that peace. From tomorrow, you will see something very, very simple. Any language, 
a new way of shaking hand will take over. Where I give my energy. Where I give to you, where I don't waste my energy. If you understand, if you go back, if you look at the culture of man, those races who have elevated themselves, those who become more synchronized, they hold hand from left to right. You give your left hand to the right of another man, and you hold your right hand to the left. The right gives, the left takes. And in me, you take what is not for me, you carry on. Very much like Alex's speed. Alex's speed is a replication of the life in the universe. Shaking hand the way we do, right with right hand, it means I demand separation. Look at the physicality of the magnet. Two exit points create separation. Man, by his own handshake, has created a condition of separation. The new way of sharing and greeting will not be the way you are. The members of Motion Team has been shown the reason, and you see them shaking hand, you see them, their motions. They become one. Which means, I give from me to your hand, I don't shake right to right, to create separation. Everything in the psychology of the man has never been put the right way. But we followed it, because that's what it was. At the beginning, it will look odd to you, but don't forget the ethos of giving, loving. I give through my right hand. From what I have gathered more to give, and you receive from your left hand. without worrying that, what I give. Because you know, you receive when you need. If you look at the, what I call, old traditional way of praying, or dancing, we've done that for centuries. But we lost the knowledge why we do it. The elevation of the soul comes in every way, shape and form. The understanding of the operation of the physicality is the essence of the creation from now on. The reality that I'm a giver, not the separator. Have you noticed how Nations greet each other. Have you noticed how you love your child? How you share love and care with your child? Then, ask yourself, do I shake hand with my child, or do I greet him through my soul? When you see your lover, do you shake hand with, or you hug and you give from the heart? the proximity of the soul, so close. Man will learn to change so many things which has accepted, unknowingly or knowingly, to create separation. Because he has forgotten to elevate his own soul. A lot of changes will come into progress that you will see, it brings so much joy, that you welcome it. As I said, all of the mankind will become motions, which means brother. Which means love, unconditional. It's a privilege to be at this point in the time of human race to see the end of so much misery. It's an honor 
to be able to serve. It's for all of us to understand it. Today is the last day the soul of any being on this planet has committed in destruction. As tomorrow, the essence of the signing of the peace treaty by Makai through his own chosen souls to serve will bring such a force into operation that makes man the humanity to go in the new direction. Those who have been warmongering will try to have a last go, but their soul is aware of the change. I will explain something to a lot of you in different path of belief, that tomorrow in signing the humanity to peace, the soul of many prophets of the past will be present. Because they promised to stay. In our heart, Kitab Abdas, in Torah, in Bible, in all the Hindu and other path of belief, the promised day is tomorrow. When the mankind signs himself to peace. You will see the changes. You will feel the changes. And where we sit, we see the most powerful nations have agreed to the same. The new papers will be signed by the members of the Earth Council and Universal Council. It will not be anymore that we are a member. It will be, we demand as members. We demand peace from the world leaders. We demand action for peace from world leaders. The members of the Earth Council and the Universal Council, after Thursday, will speak as the heads of this planet as one nation, not as a council which has been awaiting to be. In a way, tomorrow is inauguration of peace for mankind, as the soul of the man sign itself to its existence. You have to understand that the soul of the man from tomorrow will synchronize with the soul of the planet and with it they change the course of mankind. In the coming months and years we'll see a total change in behavior, in understanding and in the totality of the interaction of the being on this planet. As the totality elevates, as we will understand more and more in the work of this system. Do you remember the promised day, when the gates of heaven opens up? That day has arrived. Everything which you've been promised had to be the day of end and a new beginning. For human race, for this planet, it starts from tomorrow. Because the totality of the soul of the man will work in one direction. For creation of serving, or what we call falling in love, or in another word, peace, which means in the ethos of the man, there shall not be any more animosity. There shall not be jealousy. There shall not be, I want more because I can have whatever I need. 
one of the agreements we've done with the organizations which work around Keshe Foundation, that you will see the factories of the Keshe Foundation around the world, is one of the first systems we promote to market, is the systems that can give you whatever you need, to produce whatever you need be. The beauty of it is, it's so simple. The promotion of the material direction of the man, will take priority. Which means, we flood the markets of the world, through the Chinese manufacturing, with systems can produce any material you need. Don't forget, it's a knife, on a cutting blade, it's the interaction of the two fields, like the earth, and the sun, which the residual field strength, with the gravitational field the strength of the earth, converted to a matter state. We've seen Peter doing it. Now, it'll be marketed in such a way, that you can produce whatever you need. Cost less than ten dollars. You can produce kilos of gold every day, and kilos of silver every day, and within a few days, gold worth nothing, silver worth nothing, and the production factories of the world, will be flooded with all the metals, and what man has so much respect for, and now worth none. So simple. And how man has not got to it for past millions of years, we are possible. You have a disease, you run a system, and it gives you what you're short of, to get rid of the disease. No man will die of any pain, no man will die of any disease, unless he wishes to release his soul from his physicality, that he can serve another dimension. Life for man from tomorrow, and what we have said to come out in the coming time, becomes immortal. Because, you all understand the technology. It's not me anymore, it's millions of you doing it. The promised day has come. And it's for you to embrace it. As I said a few weeks ago, I have finished teaching. I absolutely finished teaching, because I brought the maturity of understanding of totality of the man, as was the promise of Baha'u'llah, to the equal to the Prophet of the past. Now it's for mankind, to move to the next step. To become mature with the knowledge of the universe, and not this planet. To become mature in understanding the totality of the purpose of creation, and not with having a few cows, breathing, and living. Man in deep space will start life, beyond imagination. So many of you, in the next few months and years, will say, why did we got a stock in that village? Why didn't we put so much in destroying, that we forgot we could develop, and be here so much earlier? What was the purpose of all that suffering? But, it carries with you one thing. Forgive, but do not forget. That man, nowhere, and no being, nowhere in this universe, in the Unicos, should ever go through it. I chose the example of the Israeli yesterday, deliberately. For you to understand, once you leave this planet, do not repeat the same mistakes as the tribe of Israel learn from their lack of understanding, and learn from their misconduct. That it becomes their failure, your success to succeed in peace in the universe. The vast amount of knowledge, and the, what you come across in the space, is so beautiful, is so enriching the soul of the man, that no man will accept no one as a prophet. But, a level of more understanding, that you desire to understand, that you can elevate your own, 
by being able to give more to those who teach you. When you meet the members of the universal community, remember one thing, the first thing you say, is exactly what we say. Salam. Shalom. Means, a man of peace. Peace on you, which means, I give from my soul, that you receive what you need, that you find yourself equal to me, that you do not need to take anything from me. The language of universe is for mankind to understand the conduct of the universe. And I have taught you enough as a teacher, for you to understand, that in entering the universal community, the conduct of the man is one thing. To be gracious. To be a giver, that by giving you elevate the soul of the man, or a being in front of you, that you understand his language and his needs, not for him to understand you. And then you'll find, you become man of peace in the universe. Where they see you, they say, this guy is from the blue planet. You become, what I call, like Persians of the present time. We are very proud and we are very arrogant about it. For 300 years, we have not crossed our borders to fight anyone, because we got mature. This is how to be. We are men from the Earth. For a thousand years, we haven't seen anyone being killed. Because, nothing has been destroyed, because we elevate the soul of everyone, in every way, and we have put a structure in there, that the mistakes of the past, and the lack of the deficiency is not there anymore, that humans become the symbol of peace, and freedom in the universe. When you meet a new friend in the universal community, they are proud to know a man from Earth. He's a man of peace. You're welcome home. In the recent past, I spent quite some time with an extremely wealthy man. Wealth beyond the need for anything. And I listened to him and his family for quite a while. The problem was that my family did this, and they did that, and my family did this, and they did that, and in the course of conversations, many things was discussed or spoken. In understanding that what he was talking, what the family was talking about, I asked him one question. I said, you speak so much. From what I hear, you telling me on the other side, what have you done wrong? He said, nothing. I said, do you want me to repeat your words from my mouth? He said, what do you mean? I explained to him in a very simple sentence. And he understood. One instant, all the hate, all the animosity, everything just ran out of him. And I saw the soul changing. And I said to him, he said, you have become my father. And now I understand. While I was sitting there, the text changed. The information changed. And, a hate, a condition of the future, to be going through the courts, became a text message of, let's get together brothers and sisters.
when you judge yourself correct way, when you are at peace with yourself, you'll find out the position. He wrote to me afterwards, in so many ways I can read it for you. I love you, my brother. We have to make, to judge ourselves, before we judge the others. And in the space, you need this, because then you work with the transparent soul. Not with part of the information, as you are used to on this planet. The time has come, and today is the last day of it. The promised day is tomorrow. And you cannot even believe it, how you all walked into it. What a clever master. He took us from the science to the soul, and then he hammers it with us, what we've been waiting for. The wishes of man, has been to reach the point of the final day, the day of judgment. And today is the day of judgment, and tomorrow is the beginning. Irrespective of who listens, the souls will balance themselves from now on. This is our wish, and as we give, we reach this point. In so many ways, as I said, Today is the last speech, it's the last supper of animosity in mankind. It'll be the day when we see the abolishment of the courts, the abolishment of the military forces, the abolishment of the kingship, the abolishment of one man being higher than the other. Mankind today will say goodbye to millions of years of misconduct. And in totality, does not matter where you live, does not matter if you understand the language of the verbal of the man, the mankind will do one thing, and that is, mankind will sign itself to peace. Tomorrow is a beautiful day. Be there, be with us, be with yourself, and bring peace on this planet. The members of the Universal Council, all 14 members of the core team, the six members of the Earth Council, be prepared for a long run, many coffees and many teas, to sign some 200 papers, to sign mankind in every language and corner of this planet to peace, will take a marathon run, but by the third it will be completed. Many of the signatories will be done in the back, as the new ones come in. will announce and be broadcast. If the team decides to go on the marathon till end of Thursday night, till we finish the celebration, you're quite welcome. From tomorrow morning, when we start at 10 o'clock, we'll go all the way through, to see the time of 12 o'clock, for the change of man, signing himself to peace, and on the third, for celebration of arrival of peace on this planet. I thank all the Keshe Foundation supporters, for bringing humanity to this point. There was no other way to do it. And I hope, and I desire, peace for all creatures on this planet. And with it, we welcome mankind to universal community. Thank you very much.